Welcome to another episode of Curl Up with Jamie. I'm Jamie, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to score. So in curling, we have rings that kind of look like a bullseye, but that's called the house. And the objective of the game is to get as many rocks as you can closest to the middle of the house. The middle of the house is called the button. So basically, you're trying to get as many rocks as you can closest to the button. Well, let's throw some rocks at houses. At the end of every end, you need to count the score, and only one team can score at a time. To score a point, you have to be at least touching the rings somewhere in the house. So although we have rings of different colors, you don't get any more points for being in the smaller rings closer to the button. For example, if this was the end of the first end, blue would score one point because they have one rock within the rings. Even if the rock is way over here, just barely touching the paint, blue would still score one point. So let's say we just finished playing the second end. We need to count the score again. And remember that only one team can score at a time. So looking at the rocks that are within the house, the red rock is the closest one to the button. Therefore, the red team is gonna score one point. In this scenario, red has two rocks that are closer to the button than the opposition. So red would score two points. In this situation, although red has two rocks in the house, Red only scores one point because the next closest to the button is this blue one back here. In this situation, since that red rock isn't quite touching the rings, nobody scores. It's called a blank end. So the team that had the last stone advantage will carry that advantage over into the next end. Sometimes it can be really difficult to determine which rock is closest to the button, even with these rings painted in. So in that case, we bring out the measuring stick. So don't forget, the score can only be counted once all 16 rocks have been thrown in that end. So that's how you score in curling. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Next time on Curl Up with Jamie, I'm gonna show you how to read the scoreboard.